Yes, Ethan. Oh. Return to the mat. Get up what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Looking for a better way to get up and I better instead of getting on the internet and checking who's gonna get the flat smash makes up 31% of winners in the men's professional game. That is nearly one in three shots. So it's pretty obvious, if you master this shot, you're gonna have a lot of success on the paddle court. Let's learn how to play the flat smash. The goal of the flat smash is to bring the ball back to your own side. So you smash, it bounces, hits the glass and flies back to your own side and the opponents are sprinting forward after the ball. One of the biggest factors of this shot is your timing. Half the time when players trying to hit this shot, they're too early and too late. So really focus on your timing and your connection when hitting the ball. One of the biggest problems with the flat smash is a lot of players play this shot at the wrong time. This usually ends up with them either hitting their own partner in the head or hitting the ball straight onto the back glass. I've said this a lot before with the smash, make sure you play it on the right ball. You need to play this on an easy ball. If you try and play this shot on a tricky ball, you might be off balance, you might be leaning back, you're gonna lose a lot of your power and your technique. It will usually end up in the shot missing altogether or you'll set your opponents up for an easy winner. Let me talk to you about the technique of the flat smash. So unlike the kick smash, where we say about arching the back and trying to contact nearly behind the head and generating a lot of topspin, we're not gonna do that on this shot. For this shot, we still wanna contact the ball very high, but it's gonna be slightly in front of us rather than sort of behind or right above the head. We also then wanna hit the ball completely flat. We don't wanna add any topspin, side spin, slice, and as straight as possible as well. Try and avoid any angle on this shot. The idea is you wanna hit it straight, flat, down the line so it just flies, hits the glass, and then comes over the net. And use your left arm as a guide. Stick the left arm up so you can watch the ball, and that really helps with your timing. So you need a lot of discipline. As soon as you're going for this shot, get the left arm up straight away. One final thing as well is to hold the racket a little bit looser and maybe a little bit lower down. And that's so you can get a bit more wrist into the ball so you can get more power. I'm gonna demonstrate some flat smashes now, showing you the technique. Sweet. Right guys, time to analyze some points. I've got some clips here showing the flat smash in action. In this first clip, in my opinion, it's the wrong time to do the smash. I can see why Ollie does it because Ethan does a boast, but the ball is very deep. Ollie is slightly off balance and he's leaning back a lot. If you look at Ethan's positioning as well, you can see that he's already a few steps forward as Ollie strikes the ball. So even if this does go over, he's probably gonna be able to retrieve this ball. The next clip shows a really good time to do the flat smash. The rally's kind of slow, it's getting a little bit repetitive with constant bandekas pushing the ball back in. This is where a change of pace is always good and that's what Ethan offers here. A straight flat smash down the line when the ball was there to be hit. You can see he's not off balance, it's on the right ball and then the ball flies over really quick. Me and Ollie don't have a lot of time to react to this. The next clip shows Ethan serve. A volley, a quite a deep low volley that's a tough ball to retrieve. Instantly back and then again, straight flat smash. Catches Ollie slightly off guard and then they win the point. I also found a few old clips from a tournament that me and Jake played like last year. In this first clip, you can see really good patience from Anton as he slowly sets up the point. He doesn't smash on this ball. Instead, he pushes it back, waits for the right ball and then he goes for it straight down the line. As you can see in this one, you've got Alvaro. He serves, really bad return from me straight up and again, the smash down the line. This is where it's really effective because as you you can see the smash isn't even that big but because it's straight down the line it means I've got so much running to do. Okay toughest thing with a flat smash is how do you practice it? The best drill to do is to smash on your own wall. Do this before a game, when there's a break in a game, after the game or just come down on your own with your own balls but smash against your own glass okay completely flat and just practice that motion. You don't need to hit hard here and making sure you're one hitting flat, one the ball's coming up nice and straight and then you can build it up slower and slower and then in the game it will become a lot easier. Oh. What's your favourite shot in paddle? Smash. Yeah, that's what I thought. Me and Ethan are now going to do a challenge to see who can do the bigger flat smash. We're going to mark with a cone to see how far we can bring the ball over. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to go first guys. Don't expect a lot to be honest because I'm smash is my worst shot. Yeah. 
That is... Okay. That was literally the same. Oh, it's just not really going very far. What? Do you think that was too far? Here? That's not generous, that was where it was. Shit. I'll take it, I'll take it. Loser gets bum whacked, yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. I thought I was harsh or anything. Not really. Brilliant. Was that first ball, that was better. Do you want to get another cone, like a different colour? All right, well, I'm expecting you to at least go, you got to go further than that, mate. Is it a bit further? Fair play, mate, fair play. Ooh. That's it, that's good. Fair play, that was good, mate. You, that's getting cut out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we go.